So next we'll talk about defending the back with the hooks, and especially when the person goes for the rear naked choke. So, obviously I don't want to get in this position, but if I do, there are things I can, I can try to get out of it. You can cross the arms here. Some people like to put the hands on the, uh, the face, the home alone defense. I, I've lately been getting more into this one. Now you want to block and watch out for the, the arm that's over the shoulder. If she does like a seatbelt or something, just be aware that it's this arm is the one you have to look out for. Now, what I like to do from here is, uh, let's, let's say she's got the choke almost sunk in at this point, okay? This is the arm that's going to choke me, so I'm going to try to pull on the wrist and elbow and pull it down enough to breathe and then tuck the chin and shrug the shoulders. Now if she squeezes it, it's uncomfortable, it's on my jaw though, it's not going to choke me, I won't, it's, it's going to hurt, but it's not going to make me pass out. Now, I like to keep the elbows in here inside the thighs. I don't know if you can see, but I dig the heels in on the mats and I scoop forward here like this as I try to push this up over the head and then loop it over the head like this, okay? Now, as I, I'm going to fall to the side, this side here, and then hopefully come up on top, but in the worst case scenario, you, if she gets up on top, I push this knee down, I trap it in the half guard, and at least I, and maybe I can get the underhook. Okay, so you end up with the half guard with the underhook. It's kind of the worst case scenario. Watch out, you don't get mounted from there. That, that actually can happen. 